Welcome back guys, this is Naji. Welcome to the second video. Today we'll be answering three critical questions about JavaScript and we'll be additionally setting our environment for JavaScript. So our three questions are, what is JavaScript? What can you do with JavaScript? Where can it be executed? Without further ado, let's just move the screen and let's see what is JavaScript. Okay, first thing first, we wanna know what JavaScript is. JavaScript can be simply explained as a programming language. It's one of the most popular programming languages, one of the core technologies of the World Wide Web. The beauty about JavaScript is that it can be used as a client side and also as a server side programming language. It's one of the popular programming languages used by companies such as eBay, uh, Facebook and Netflix and whatsoever. But then now let's just get on what you can do with JavaScript. There's a whole lot more that can be accomplished with JavaScript. The ability of JavaScript being a front end and a back end language gives us the ability to be able to create multiple type of applications. So with JavaScript, you can be able to create web and mobile applications. You can create games. You can create real networking apps, etc. So there are multiple JavaScript frameworks that can help you to be able to accomplish such applications so these are the frameworks starting with angular react and vue.js so these are the javascript frameworks that you can explore after grasping the syntax of javascript you must be able to understand the basic javascript content concepts before you jump into the javascript frameworks coming to our last question where can javascript be executed so JavaScript was initially made to run only on browsers, which means that browsers have a JavaScript engine that can be able to execute and interpret JavaScript. But then we also have another environment, a runtime environment, where we can be able to execute JavaScript, which is called Node.js. Node.js is a C++ program embedded with the JavaScript engine that makes us to be able to do backend development using JavaScript. So the beauty of JavaScript is that you can be able to write both client-side and server-side development using JavaScript, which makes it a powerful programming language. What we're gonna do now is set up our environment. So if you don't have Visual Studio Code yet, go ahead and download it. You can find the link in the description. So the first thing you are gonna do is create a folder. I'm gonna name mine JavaScript. And then after adding your folder, you open your Visual Studio. This is the landing page. Then you're gonna click on open folder. And then you're gonna go find the folder that you created. And then you select that folder. Okay, now you're gonna see this JavaScript folder here. And then we're gonna add our HTML file, index.html. Then we have our HTML file to generate the the boilerplate like I showed you showed you before exclamation mark then tab then we have this boilerplate here and then we're gonna also create our JavaScript file which we're gonna call main dot js for us to be able to use uh, to show what we're dealing with we're gonna need the extension to serve our application here so i'll just go to the extensions and then you can see this live server and then you're gonna install this live server after we've created our html file and our javascript file let's connect the two so that we can be able to write our javascript so we're gonna connect them like I showed you before using the source and then we can just give this uh, document a title and then we can also give it maybe an h1 just to see what we have there and say h1 it's gonna be the same hello world and then uh, the next thing is you will notice this go live which is uh, using the live server extension and then we can be able to click this and be able to there we have it we can see our hello world now what you want to do is right click on this and then you say inspect and then you will see this 
developer tools down here and then you will go to the console so this console can allow you to write any javascript file so for example like we did on our previous we can say console.log and then you say put your codes there and then you say hello closing world this is what we call a statement what this is essentially essentially saying is to the console can you log the message that is in between those parentheses which is hello world so that that message within those parentheses is what we call a string a string is a sequence of characters so now if we click enter you will be able to see hello world but then this is not our only option to write javascript remember that we have a javascript file called name.js so if we come here on visual studio and we say console dot log hello nati right and then we go back now and we we also have to save this first and then we go back to our chrome our explorer and then now you can see that we have hello nati which is pointing to the file name.js now we can be able to read our javascript the browser is reading our javascript now and just like that we have written our first javascript code on the upcoming videos we'll be looking further into strings primitive types and also variables thank you for watching please see me on the next video thank you